What's up YouTube? It's Jermaine, back with another video, another San Francisco series video. And in this video, I'm gonna compare and contrast San Francisco and Oakland. Or at least just, you know, tell you guys about some of my experiences. As you know, um, I live in Oakland, I work in San Francisco. It wasn't always that way I used to live in San Francisco and work in San Francisco. and. I'll just talk about the two, Oakland and San Francisco. Man, I have been lagging on the San Francisco series videos. It's been over a month since I made one of these videos. Um, check the playlist. I have a ton of more San Francisco videos um, in the playlist. Pretty cool stuff about the city and the surrounding areas. But let's just jump in talking about San Francisco versus Oakland. All right, so... Off the bat, I guess I'll start this one off by saying that, you know, Oakland, I actually like Oakland. I do. Oakland has a bad rap. Um, mainly it has a bad rap for, you know, things that happened years ago, you know, crime and stuff of that sort. Also, when you have a city like San Francisco, there has to be some other city nearby that, you know... San Francisco is going to have to throw rocks at, basically. And that's kind of what Oakland is. A lot of people in the city, you know, they'll they'll look at Oakland and say, why would I go to Oakland? And honestly, I was the same person. Um, when I lived in the city, if someone asked me, hey, let's go to Oakland, I would just wonder, why would I want to go to Oakland? I live right here in the city, and everything's in the city. But Oakland is a different place, and... When I first moved to San Francisco, I didn't want to go to Oakland. I just wanted to stay right here in San Francisco. But then once I moved to Oakland, well, before I moved to Oakland, I did come here a couple times. But then once I moved to Oakland, I realized that unlike San Francisco, people in Oakland seem to be a lot more down to earth and a lot more real. For example... I mean, I could just literally walk down the street in Oakland and it could just be any random person on the street. And I feel that like, you know, we'll probably talk, you know, in the city, that won't really happen. I mean, the city's like a big place, but Oakland is just more, it's like, it's more like a community. A lot of people who live in Oakland, um, a lot of people have lived there their whole life. So if you've lived here your whole life, like you know this place, unlike San Francisco, where you have a lot of people who have moved from all over the world or all over the country just to live in the city. Um, and when all these people are in one place, well, there's all sorts of vibes, you know, but you come back to Oakland and it's just, it's just like, it's chill. You know, I see black people here all the time and don't get me wrong, I see black people in the city too, but it's just a whole another vibe. And then it, this Oakland has this, this drive to it. Unlike any city I've ever seen in the U.S. Oakland is a very progressive place. You know, in the media, Fox News may say that Oakland's bad and Oakland has a lot of gang violence and Oakland has this and has that. Oakland is very, very progressive. Okay, I would say one of the most progressive cities in the U.S. Like some of the wicked laws that they're pa that they pass, and also some um, the way people come together for certain things that happen, the way people like come together, like um, whenever these um like the the black shootings were, were going on, you may not saw this on Fox News, but it it was crazy riots in Oakland. When um when the guy in New York got killed um, gosh I'm trying to think the black guy the white cop like choked him to death and he was screaming I can't breathe the guy who the guy who started that I can't breathe um chant when the police killed him it was riots in Oakland like for like three days straight I mean I even went down to the Chase Bank to to catch some video of some of the riots and. Man, the people in Oakland, the young people in Oakland, destroyed, like, the Chase Bank and a Walgreens across the street. And then the next night, they, like, they burned, like, a car dealership. Well, they didn't burn the whole dealership, but they burned, like, 
one car at a dealership. I'm talking about hundreds of young people coming together and they're just like literally taking over the streets, doing what they want. I mean, this is a very progressive place. I don't really hear about this happening in most parts of the U.S. You know, in in L.A., you hear about this. And in the Bay Area, you hear about this. And I don't know, maybe people are a lot connected here because everyone is so addicted to like, you know, the latest iPhone and, you know, you got to have Twitter and you got to have Instagram. I want to say people are more like connected in a way. Another thing I've noticed about Oakland that that I that has just changed my life is the food in Oakland. There's some pretty awesome food in Oakland. And I know you guys have heard that. There's awesome food everywhere, you know. You can go to New York and get awesome food. You can go to San Francisco and get awesome food. Well, just recently, I just started this vegan diet where I'm just not eating meat, dairy products, none of that, you know. And in the city which, you know, San Francisco, I thought that it would be easier for me to find vegan food that I like in San Francisco. So I'm in the city and I go to Yelp and I type in, you know, vegan, vegan food, vegan restaurants. And don't get me wrong, definitely places pop up. But when I come over to Oakland and type in vegan, the things that pop up are like, dude, I really want to go there. You know, stuff in San Francisco tend to be catered to a different clientele. They seem to be catered to like, they're catering themselves more to like this New York clientele. You know, you go to a vegan restaurant and it's like a hundred dollars, you know, gosh, you come over to Oakland and you got like these little mom and pop vegans, vegan shops that are just popping up. You know, and I actually love the food over in Oakland. There are there are a handful of great restaurants, not even talking about vegan. I'm talking about just food in general. Once again, the food as well as Oakland itself is overlooked Um, just in the city. Okay, just recently, this was one of my experiences. I was out doing I was repairing a cell phone for someone. And the lady asked she was like hey how's it going how's how's he doing what are you up to how's your day blah 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 and i was just telling her oh it's great it's great it's great and she was like where did you where do you live you live in the city and i was like no i live in oakland and when i said i lived in oakland the look on her face and the look on her friend's face was like it was a pause you know they just looked at me like oh my gosh you live in oakland and Every, every since the word Oakland came out of my mouth in that conversation, I noticed that the whole conversation changed, you know? Like, at first, she was all like, hey, what's going on? What are you up to? But then when she found out that I lived in Oakland, she's like, oh, I can't relate with you. And, you know, honestly, like, I don't really fault her for that, this customer, because I was the same exact way before I started going over to Oakland, before I started doing stuff in Oakland, before I started, you know, crossing the bridge, going under the bay. Sometimes you have to explore a place. And Oakland is, I want to say a lot of those people in San Francisco, if they actually came over to Oakland, they would probably love it. You know, because one thing about the city, the city, the weather's always, the weather's always crappy, okay? It's always raining. Oakland, it's typically sunny. It's always warmer, okay? Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it can rain in Oakland and San Francisco can be dry and vice versa. Usually the weather is always nicer in Oakland. In Oakland, you can have a backyard, you know? You can have a driveway. You can park on the street without driving around for an hour looking for a parking spot. San Francisco, parking sucks. You know, gosh, in my house right now, in, right now in Oakland, we got, what, like eight parking spots or something? And then we have tons of street parking? When I lived in San Francisco, that was unheard of. I mean, it was probably not even eight parking spots on my street, you know? But once again, Oakland... It's like, Oakland is like Brooklyn, okay? Years ago, Brooklyn would get 
it, Brooklyn just had a bad name for itself. And Manhattan was the place to be, okay? Manhattan was the spot. Today, look at Manhattan and look at Brooklyn. They're down there, like, right at, right at each other. I know, gosh, Brooklyn, from what I hear, Brooklyn is more desirable than Manhattan now, okay? Meaning that I think Oakland could possibly be more desirable someday than San Francisco. Just because Oakland has so much more potential. I mean, there's so much stuff that could be developed in Oakland. There are so much, so much vacant land in Oakland. There's so much, I see so much potential in this city. It's just, it's mind blowing. It's kind of funny because living in Oakland, some things I just don't do here that I would just normally do in San Francisco. And I'll give you an example. In San Francisco, when I'm driving, I'll literally honk at anyone. Like, anyone. It could be an old woman driving. It could be some some young woman driving. It could be a cop. It could be a school bus. Like, I'll honk at anyone. Like, I'll cut anyone off. If you give me the opportunity to cut you off in traffic, like I will get in front of you and cut you off. All right? That's in San Francisco. I will honk my horn like crazy, you know? Like, I could not drive a car in San Francisco if it did not have a horn. Because I, I just couldn't drive it. It would be like driving a car without brakes, if you ask me. That's San Francisco. When I come back to Oakland, I don't care who cut me off in traffic. I really don't care. It can just be, it can be a family, you know? A mom with, like, kids. If you cut me off, I'm not honking my horn at you. You know, it's just the way I, I do things in Oakland. I've heard too many stories of people who've honked their horns at the wrong cars and, you know, they had stuff thrown at their cars or they had even worse things happen. I just don't care who it is. It could be, you know, it could be anyone. I'm not honking my horn at you. Like, I don't want to get shot. You know, just come on, cut me off, drive faster, speed up, make that red light. But, uh, yeah, that's just one thing I just don't just typically do in Oakland. And gosh, I didn't even talk about Berkeley. Berkeley is a whole nother ball game. I just avoid Berkeley. Like, if you're a single guy, dude, Berkeley is like the spot. It really is. Like, just babes everywhere, you know? Oh, my gosh. It's like a little college town. Hella college kids live there. Berkeley has really good weather, and it's just like eye candy everywhere, especially downtown Berkeley. I mean, dude, if I was single, I would be down there just trying to talk to all them hot chicks. And they all ride little bikes and stuff, so everyone's, like, athletic and outdoorsy, and I don't know. I, I like Berkeley, but, you know, Berkeley, that's a whole nother video, and... I really don't spend that much time in Berkeley. Like, I go to Berkeley every now and then. But I'm mainly a city boy. I really like the city life. I like that fast pace. So, to wrap things up, nightlife in Oakland is definitely going to be better if you like hip-hop music. If you go to the city, it just seems like, to me, a lot of the places in the city are catered to more Asians and Caucasians. Just because of the music they play, and also just because of the people you see on the street. <laughs> and But that's not always the case. Like, if you go to the marina, there's definitely those few hip-hop bars, but some of those bars can tend to be a little trashy, because a lot of the Marin County girls will go there. I don't know, that might be your thing, you know, Marin County girls. They're definitely fun to party with, but, you know, you know how that goes. So guys, hopefully I didn't offend anyone with this video. I'm just, you know, just rambling, talking about my experiences living in Oakland and Frisco. They're both two great places to live. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave comments below. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, you got to subscribe. And uh, if you think that this video will help someone share it with them and also i have a lot of other videos in my san francisco playlist series and they're all like this where i just basically talk about san francisco and i use some you know cool video in the background 
feel free to download those videos too. They're they're all Creative Commons licensing, so anyone can like download the clips and use them for whatever clips you want. But thanks a lot for watching. Peace. That's a wrap.